Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're honoring one of our two artists in the month for August 2020, the one and only Miss Sarah Geronimo. We had a tie this month between she and Budakal, so we are honoring both of them. Um, but for this video, we are going to look at her singing It's All Coming Back to Me Now by Celine Dion, um, originally by, was this one by Meatloaf? Yeah, this was one that was originally by Meatloaf, then Celine Dion covered it famously, and, you know, now we're here, but I'm assuming Sarah's probably modeling her version more after Celine's than Meatloaf's um, version, but we're just going to dive in and see what Sarah does with it. Costume change.
Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if that was the right video. Um, I've had a number of you guys um, re react or uh, request for me to react to that. Um, and specifically, you guys were saying react to the one where she's wearing the red pantsuit. So, like, I thought that was this one because in that first half, like, I thought she was wearing a red pantsuit anyway. Um, but then it transitioned into what looked like a different performance, or it might have been the same performance at the same concert, but like, she went and made a costume change, and then she had these two other ladies singing with her at the end and whatnot. I'm not entirely sure. I'm a little confused by the performance, whether or not it was two separate performances that this video kind of compiled together, or if it was an extended thing, or what. I don't know. I don't know. But let's talk about let's talk about Miss Sarah. Um, the vocals were the vocals were great. Um, she looked very young here, um, so I'm guessing this is probably a little bit earlier in her career, um, and why. Why I'm guessing that is because, like, while looking very, very young, um, she also sounded very, very much like she was emulating Celine Dion. Um, I mentioned similar thing when I reacted to her earlier in the week um, when she just won... I can't remember the name of the competition, but she was singing Celine's um, To Love You More, um, and that was, like, her winning moment. Um, so, like I mentioned there, where she was she was younger, and I expect like younger people to just kind of emulate what they've heard. I don't really expect them to have that sort of level of, um, not necessarily creativity, but that level of, you know, we'll just say creativity for lack of a better term, to completely revamp or make songs their own, and they kind of just sing what they've heard. Um, so like here, I was very much hearing that, like it sounded like she was emulating Selena. Um, just like how Lonnie, you guys have told me like she's done impersonations of Whitney Houston and a couple other people and how Katrina Velarde, she's done millions of impersonations of, you know, different singers and whatnot. Like this sounded more like a Celine Dion impersonation more than it did um, Sarah singing the song. Um, so I'm not sure if this was meant to be a, a Celine Dion impersonation. I don't think it was. Um, if it was, it was a pretty good Celine Dion impersonation. Um, but like, I was getting, I wasn't getting a lot of Sarah. I was getting great vocals. Don't get me wrong. The vocals were so great. She still had great resonance. Um, she had great. Um, like I mentioned there, the earlier part. I loved when she was being soft and delicate. How emotive her voice was, and how just how uh, she she was just telling that story and like I loved hearing that that nice sort of dynamic contrast in her voice going from that to the big belty stuff and whatnot with all the resonance and whatnot like her vocals technically her vocals sounded great they sounded great I just wasn't what I'm saying is I wasn't hearing Sarah I was hearing Celine I was hearing someone trying to be Celine versus Sarah singing the song um, so I would love to if this was the right video, I would love to hear a another version, a more recent version, where Sarah's being Sarah, because I've heard Sarah do all kinds of things throughout this reaction series and just throughout things that I've reacted to from her before. I've heard her. I've heard her. I know what. I know her voice can handle this song as Sarah, and I would love to hear the song as Sarah and not so much as a Celine, you know, impersonation. Um, but yeah, other than that, it, it, it sounded great. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you guys would like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. Before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for all of your favorite reaction videos. We've got playlists for Morissa Amon, Kelly Clarkson, Katrina Velarde, Tori Kelly, and more, so be sure to check them out.